Hello and welcome to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. I'm Chris and in today's video I'll discuss four methods for splitting your PDF files into different files using PDF Element. The first method we'll explore today is how to extract individual files from our PDFs and save them as separate files. The goal of this method is to generate an individual file for each page of our document. Splitting a PDF file into separate files is particularly useful when each page pertains to a different section, such as calendars or invoices. This approach facilitates better management and review of the information as each file is dedicated to a specific part. Once you've opened the document, the next step is to navigate to the Organize tab. Here you'll see all the pages of your document listed in a grid format, arranged by rows and columns. Simply expand the split menu and select the split PDF feature. This action will prompt a window to appear where you'll be asked to select the type of splitting you want to perform. Next, select the option split by number of pages and set the number of pages per document to one. Finally, choose a destination location where you want to save the PDF files resulting from this process. And just like that, within a few seconds, we've successfully split our document, creating an individual file for each page of the document. The second method we'll explore today involves creating smaller PDF documents by selecting specific pages from the original document. This method is especially valuable when we need to create a new document from specific pages of our existing document, enabling us to selectively choose the pages we wish to share. It streamlines file size and directs focus towards relevant information for review. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? Well, the process essentially consists of just four steps. Once you have your document open, the first step is to go to the Organize tab. This will bring us back to the view mode where the pages of your document are listed in rows and columns. Next, you'll need to select the pages you want to include in your new document. To select multiple pages, simply hold down the CTRL key while clicking the left mouse button on each page. This allows you to add pages to your selection without deselecting previously chosen pages. Once you've finished making your selection, the third step is to open the Extract tool. In the Tools window, ensure that the Custom box is checked and select the All Pages option from the drop-down list. If needed, you can also check the box to delete the pages from the original file after extraction. But for now, I'll leave it unchecked. After confirming the process, PDF Element will open a new tab with a new document containing the pages you selected. This leads us to the fourth and final step, saving the document. Now before moving on to the next method for splitting documents, let's take a moment to highlight the importance of splitting our documents to avoid exceeding the file size limits imposed by free services that enable us to share our documents. For example, Outlook allows its users to send files with a maximum size of 20 megabytes. And as you can see, this file here weighs 28 megabytes. Therefore, in its current state, I wouldn't be able to send this document through free messaging services due to the size limit. However, that's precisely the focus of the third method we'll discuss today. Splitting our PDF pages by size allows us to impose a size limit on our documents by dividing the total file weight into the fewest possible parts, making it easier to send our files through free messaging services. To achieve this, we'll use the Split PDF feature located within the Split menu from the Organize tab. But this time, among the splitting options, we'll choose Split by File Size and enter the desired file size limit in megabytes for each part. In this case, I'm going to set it to 20 megabytes. Finally, specify a destination path where all the parts resulting from splitting the original document will be saved. After a few seconds, you can navigate to the specified path and find the parts of your document there. You'll notice that none of these parts exceed the size limit we set earlier. Finally, the last method of splitting our document that we'll discuss today involves splitting by bookmarks. Adding bookmarks to a document is an effective strategy for managing lengthy documents. By creating bookmarks, we can organize the content and unlock a new way to split our documents based on these sections. This can be really useful when we want others to easily access specified sections of a document for reading or review. And it's also helpful when we need to share our documents while restricting access to certain non-disclosable sections without the need for any unnecessary redaction black bars. 
It's interesting, right? Now let me show you how to do it. The first step is to open our document in PDF element. Next, locate and click on the bookmarks icon in the left panel. This will expand the panel to display a list of all the bookmarks in our document. If your document doesn't already have bookmarks, you can easily add them yourself. Begin by navigating to the section of the document you want to mark as the start of a bookmark and ensure that the content you wish to include in the bookmark is visible at the top of the screen. Then click the Add Bookmark button. PDF Element will automatically determine the end of this section based on where the next section begins in the document. Simply repeat this process for each section you want to bookmark. Now that we have all our bookmarks set up, let's go back to the Organize tab to use the Split PDF feature from the Split menu once again. This time we'll choose Split by Top Level Bookmarks as the split type, and we'll set a path to store the resulting files. In just a few seconds, PDF Element will have created a separate PDF for each section of our document based on the bookmarks we define. The reasons we might need to split our PDFs are virtually endless, but I'm confident that the four methods we discussed today will help you divide your document in a way that best suits your needs. Whether you need to streamline collaboration with your team, overcome limitations that restrict file sending through free messaging services, or simply be selective with the information you share. PDF Element has you covered. The best part is you can try it out for yourself. Head over to the official PDF Element website now or find the download link in the description box below. Explore these and dozens of other tools that PDF Element provides to simplify and enhance your document management and editing experience like no other tool can. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If this one was helpful to you, I would appreciate it if you give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I will continue bringing you more videos with many tips and tricks to make your work a lot easier. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on the channel where you will find many more videos just like this one. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.